All right, so this is my uh, pulse width modulated project using an AT Tiny 85 and the scope showing the uh, information on the scope here. And I'm going to adjust the analog input of the thing. And let's see if we get all the way to the extreme. You can see right there it says weight, which means the trigger, which is this value right here on the scope, is not being met, so it stopped triggering. So that's the previous signal. And I turn the pot a little bit the other way, and now it's triggered because it says triggered up here. Another thing on the this is the zero value right there. That's the zero level. And what's it say? It's at two volts per division. So it's two, four, four something. And I'm going to crank the pot gradually, showing how the pulse width modulated signal gets uh, changes the duty cycle and that's the extreme at least right now I don't know if that's a software problem or a hardware problem but that's pretty close to the maximum I don't know, hopefully you can read that that's the frequency right there above my finger and I'm going to turn measurement on and show and I don't know how to get rid of that signal on top of there that's covering it, but I will store this in a uh, file and add this to the thing. And so, okay, so that's the scope showing what the thing is. And here's the breadboard with the all of the hardware on it. Let's see, can I do this at the same time here? Yeah, I guess I can. So there's the pot, and I can turn it, turn the pot, and change the, the signal of the pulse width modulation. And as you can see, there's the microprocessor, the variable resistor, inputs and outputs, power, and that's the whole shebang. There's nothing else involved. And let's see, what else did I want to talk about. Um, don't know why the signal is kind of iffy there. It's, it's not real straight, but okay, so there's the frequency right there. That's the, okay, so obviously the frequency is measuring from here to here, that type of a thing. And maximum voltage is 5.28, minimum about 80 millivolts. Uh, like I said, I don't know why it's so noisy. The signal's not exactly, let me see here, how do I do this? Man, this scope has so many features and things that I'm still not instantaneously able to find out where things are. Is it display? No, it's not display. Oh, right, hit channel. And you can turn off the bandwidth limit and it gets a little, it gets even noisier when you turn it off. I'm going to turn that massive measurement off there so that you can just see the signal. And uh, I don't know, that's about it.